Hi, my name is Inwon. We'll be looking at AMC 8 year 2009. After hearing this video, you'll be able to solve the questions really easily. So let's start with number one. Bridget bought a bag of apples at the grocery store. She gave half of the apples to Anne, then she gave Cassie three apples, keeping four apples for herself. How many apples did Bridget buy? So this should be really easy for you guys. Let's call X the bag of apples that Bridget bought. She gave half, which means she has half left. Then she gave Cassie three apples keeping four for herself that's like algebra and if you solve this out x is 14 choice e the problems in the front will be really easy so it shouldn't take that long to solve it problem two on average, for every four sports cars sold at the local dealership, seven sedans are sold. The dealership predicts that it will sell 28 sport cars next month. How many sedans does it expect to sell? This is basically a ratio question. For four sports car, seven sedans. So, sports to sedan that's the ratio is 4 to 7 and this month they sold 28 sports car how many sedans will they sell so all you have to do is multiply these two and make it equal to the outside parts 7 times 28 is 7 times 4 equals 4x 4 cancels out X equals 49. Choice D. Question number three. We have a graph. That's like a giveaway question. All you have to do, all you have to do is just look at the graph, know how to interpret it. For this one, they're asking for the graph shows the constant rate at which Susanna rides her bike. If she rides a total of a half an hour at the same speed, how many miles would she have ridden? So there's the minutes, the time, miles, the distance, and you have to find how many miles would she have ridden if she rides a total of half an hour at the same speed. S to find it, you have to look at the slope of this line for five it goes up 1 using rise over 1 you can see that the slope equals 1 over 5 and when x equals 30 you'll be able to find that 30 multiplied by the slope would give you 6 which is the miles that she would have ridden because all you have to do is, you're just predicting what's going to happen on this line. So the answer is C. Next question. Question number four. The five pieces shown below can be arranged to form four of the five figures shown in the choices. Which figure cannot be formed? Okay, I'm guessing this is A, B, C, D, and E. This is like puzzle. Just imagine these pieces going into all of these different spots. So, I think I did this when I was a baby with blocks or Legos. Five, four, Three, two, one. A works. So that's not the answer. B. Four fits in. Three, two, one. But five doesn't fit in. So that's not working. So let's keep that for now. C. We have five, four, three, two, one. 
that works. So it's not going to be the answer. D, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, not the answer. E, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, not the answer. So B is the only choice that doesn't work. So B is the answer. Problem number five. A sequence of numbers starts with one, two, and three. The fourth number of the sequence is the sum of the previous three numbers in the sequence. So for example, one plus two plus three would equal six. So the fourth number is six. In the same way, every number after the fourth is the sum of the previous three numbers. What is the eighth number in the sequence? So it's addition. One, two, three. You add the previous three to get six. Then you add the two, three, and six to get eleven. Then twenty, thirty-seven, sixty-eight. That's the eighth number, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that's choice D. Thank you for listening to the first five problems.